Yo guys, what is up? It's Snake, and today uh, they released uh, the new Right End Collection and Puzzle Bundle Topper Weekend, where, let me go to the packs, I opened up 48, but uh, my capture card failed, and so I didn't get to record them. Uh, for off-season 10 packs, you get one Puzzle Topper. For off-season 24 packs, you get two toppers. Legends 1-3 pack, you get one topper. 14 pack, you get seven toppers. And for 10, you get four toppers. Um, I'll show you guys real quick what I was able to pull. I opened up 48, so that was four free uh, stadium pieces. And then uh, what else I pulled? So I pulled uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10 ghost stadium pieces. Um, the Lions piece, uh, these are the Thanksgiving ones. Uh, one Lions, two Cowboys, is it two Cowboys? No, two Lions and two Cowboys. Uh, so pulled 14 there, and then I also pulled the Revis, one Revis puzzle piece right here. Uh, I didn't want to send them to my actives because that that's not, he's not a stadium. Uh, and so also in that bundle, I pulled um, Doomerville, Michael Johnson, Jared Allen, and JPP. JPP sold for 150000 so that was good. Um, I'm a, I'm a little under 80k out of making all my coins back, so uh, not too upset there. Uh, so here's the right end collection: 500,000 coins, a JPP, 10 legendary packs, and a key pack. Um, and then I will show you uh, some of the rare cards that I know of. Uh, they did not put the Dwight Freeney Combine Warrior in here, which is great for everybody. Um, none of these cards. I don't know who's rare out of all these cards, but. Uh, well, Doomerville, obviously, but uh, the key cards, my Cameron Wake that I had and sold, uh, I sold them for 15. Um, I don't know how much these two are. Michael Johnson was 6K. Um, I'll tell you the ones I at least I know. Uh, JPP, this one's about 170. This one's 160, 150. Um, Jared Allen is about 25. Doomerville is about 17. And I don't know about anybody else, but that collection, um, I'm guessing it costs you around six, seven hundred thousand to complete, plus the JPP, which I will show you now. JPP, and if you're looking for a gold or a gold, a good cornerback, I have one for you guys. Uh, just, just gonna show you guys it. Da, 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 da. Where is he? JPP, right here he is. Uh, they had his stats on Twitter, so uh, nothing really special for me to show you stat-wise. But there he is. Let me search it by Giants so I can give you guys a price range that he is at. Giants. And he, where is he? Cheapest, cheapest one, 75K. It's not too bad. Um, if I, I, I don't really like JPP, and I have my uh, Dwight Freeney, so this card really has no appeal to me. So I'm gonna, so I'm not gonna get him, but uh, that's gonna do it for uh, this video. But I've been playing musical mosses. I've just been trading my moss around, uh, just kind of having fun trying to get different numbers and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, um, I'm gonna be doing a Madden 25 wish list. Uh, it's a little bit late into the the year to do it, but I'm gonna do one. Uh, it's mostly gonna be talking about ultimate team and connected careers, not really about game functions or not functions like gameplay per se uh, because I'm pretty sure that's been covered repeatedly and it's pretty much the same complaints so I'm not going to get into that but my complaints about Ultimate Team and Connected Career more are a little bit different than everybody else's so some of them will be the same but some will be different so just keep a look out for that I hope you guys enjoyed the video drop a like if you did subscribe if you haven't and I will catch you all later peace out